Today, I will talk on trees. Sequential data structure is a data structure in which items are connected in sequential order. It has start and end. We all would have seen about sequential data structures such as stacks, queues, arrays and linked list in previous presentation. Now, I am going to introduce nonlinear data structure. Nonlinear data structure is a data structure in which data are not arranged in sequential order where each item is connected to several other item in hierarchical format. Trees and graphs are the examples of nonlinear data structure. Advantages of nonlinear data structure. Random access is much faster for large nonlinear data structure. Nonlinear data structure are faster to search. You can add items at any place, not only at the end. You can insert and delete the items quickly. Now we will see in detail about trees. Look at this picture. This is a simple family example for trees. Now we will see about part of trees. Root node. Root node is the topmost node of a tree. It does not have any parent. There is only one root node per tree. Root node here is A. Parent node. If a node has child, it is called parent node. Here, A is a parent of B and C. B is a parent of D and E. C is a parent of F. D, E are the children for B. F is a child for C. B, C are the children for A. Siblings. Siblings or the node belong to same parent. D is a siblings for B. B, C or siblings for A. Leaf of a node. Leaf of a node is a node with no child. D, E, F or leaf nodes. Internal node. Internal node is a node with at least one child. Here, A, B, C are internal nodes. External node is a node with no child. D, E, F are external nodes here. Level of a node. Level of a node is defined by 1 plus number of connections between node X and root. If node is F, level will be 2. If node is B, the level is 1. Ancestors and descendant. We'll see ancestors. Our ancestors are parents, grandparents, great-grandparents. Similarly, ancestors for D is A and B. Now we'll see about descendants. Child, grandchild or descendant. So, B and D are descendant for A. Subtree. Subtree is a part of tree where child belong to same parent. Now we will see about properties of a tree. Depth of a node. Depth of a node is a length of a path.
from node x to root node. Consider the picture. Here, depth for D is 2 and depth for B is 1. Height of the node. Height of a node is length of the path from node x to deepest leaf. Look at the picture. Here, height of A will be the path from A, C, F, G. So, the height is 3, not the path A, B, E, where the height is only 2. Next property is n equal to n minus 1. A tree with n node has n minus 1 edges. In this picture, a tree has nodes 6 and edges 5. Binary trees. Binary tree is a tree with at most two edges. Each node is labeled with either left child and right child. We will see in detail about uh, binary trees in our later presentations. Applications of trees. Storing files, compiler design, Text processing, search algorithms or some of the applications of trees. Thus, introduction of trees is explained shortly. Please do subscribe my channel for more updates. Thank you.